What's going on, people? It's Mr. Dog back again. I hope everyone's fit and well. And yeah, this is, this is two podcasts today. Well, I've not done that for a long time, but this one today is a new sound of Chris Ward. And the 10 o'clock one is a preview for the Bournemouth game. But let's start. As you know, Nottingham Forest have signed Chris Ward from Newcastle. And I've got a special guest, but let me first introduce to the, as everyone knows, it's the man himself, Dylan. How are you doing, Dylan? Very good, very good. How are you both? Oh, I'm going to stink this morning. I'm going to stink, aren't I, lads? Before we do that, I had a little bit of a stink. I thought, where are these two boys? And I thought, nah, I sent in the wrong code. I thought, that's all. So, people comment. Just you, know, you, know, nice you, don't get, you don't get that with Dez or JDR. There's no need for that, is there? There's no need for that, isn't there? It's a bit, that's a bit shocking from you. Um, <laughs> we've got a special guest. Um, top Newcastle fan. I went on his podcast at the start of the season. Uh, people, sh- please show some love to the man himself, Pete. From Loaded Mag, Newcastle. How you doing, Pete? All good, all good. Thanks for having me. Um, great to be on. You must awesome. be happy. You must be jolly. You must be, you must be the happiest fan in the Premier League so far. Because, as you know, Newcastle are flying high. Pete, before we do talk about the man, Chris Ward, just tell about how's your season going on, man. Look, we... Um... No, it's it's good, but we are we are we are buzzing right now. We are literally just at, just you know what? We're just enjoying life, enjoying life of not having to worry about Mike Ashley spending no money, rubbish players playing at the club, representing the club. Um, it just it just awful managers, all the rest of it. Like we, we've suffered the last fifteen years or so just by a lack of investment. It's not like the money's not been there. It's just a lack of investment mm-hmm. because the owner didn't want it. So for us, we are just loving life that we've got an ambitious owner. Yeah, they've got lots of money. We haven't spent loads and loads of money, um, but we are where we want to be. And surprisingly, we're sitting fourth in the league. So. Oh, don't rub it in, Pete, man. You're rubbing it in, man. No, 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 no. Honestly, it's, it's, it's just a great... We are just literally just enjoying the ride right now. You ask any Newcastle fan, we're just enjoying the ride and, and the fact that we're not... Um, we, we haven't, we, we've not got owners that, that don't care about the club. That, that's, that's the basis of it. So we're, we're really happy. But in the back of our minds, we're thinking, OK, halfway through the season, we're fourth in the league. Like, what, what's, what are we capable of? So it's, it's going to be interesting to see how we tackle the second half of the season. People in the chat, please show some love to Pete. And as well, he's got um, a YouTube channel as well. Before we do start, Pete, show, um, talk about your channel. Yeah, well, you can see it on the description there. Loaded Mag NUFC. Um, just recently, just surpassed uh, 5K subscribers. So um, massive thanks to everyone in, in the chat. I know Lisa, who's one of our mods, is in the chat. Lisa Mo, um, thanks for always repping us. Um, and, and a big part of the channel, so come, come and give us a sub. We, you know, we are uh, look, Joel, you know, because you've been on the channel, we, our, our, our chatters, our, our viewers, always super, super respectful, just like your, your, yours here. And um, we, we talk all things, all things Newcastle, but we talk about other clubs as well and have great opinions from other clubs. So come and get involved in, and just click the sub, people, as well. Just do a quick favor if, if it's just a quick two seconds, go and click on loaded mag FC. Subscribe to the channel as soon because, like I said, as you know, whoever comes to the channel, you like to promote. And like I said, Newcastle are doing fantastic well. And like I said, Pete, over a channel start the season, and like, they are fantastic people. And I just said, like I said, there's like I see Lisa. We'll, I will go, we'll go through the comments in a minute before we do start. But what, but like I said, if you do a quick, quick, quick thing, please go and subscribe to um, Loaded Mag. But before we just talk about the um, Chris Wall, let's go through the, the comments. So, uh, how are you doing, Kel? Evening, Dob, Dylan, and Pete. Pete, uh, how are you doing, Hadi? Always here watching our show. Uh, how you what? How, how you doing, Dennis Red as well? Uh, good afternoon from Chicago. How you doing, my good friend? And as well, this is from this is from Lisa Mall. It she's from the Newcastle Mag. Thank you for watching, um, Lisa. Um, and as well, how, how you doing, Eve, Dylan, and Pete? Hope you all well. Uh, I hope you all uh, happy with uh, what's the premier experience. What put yourself about? Love seeing Yates. Been a player, I know he'll be up for the rest. Yeah, that's that's a different kind of show. We were talking about the mighty Yates as well. Um, I got an early super chat from special. Thank you for the four pound forty nine. Hi, Dorothy and Pete. Does Pete think that uh, United can get Champions League football next season? I think, let me know what before we do, Pete, answer the question Do you think Newcastle will get Champions League football? You know what? 
Special. I love the fact that you referred to us as United because everyone always refers to that team in the northwest as United. But we we are actually the, the official United. We're the first United. So big up for that. Um, do I think we can get Champions League football? Definitely. I, I really do. Um, and there's a part of me that wants to get excited about that. But equally, I don't. I think a lot of fans don't want to be disappointed at the end of the season if we finish sixth or seventh because any Newcastle fan in, in August yeah. would never have thought that we'd have finished sixth or seventh. So yeah. can we? 100%. 100% we can. Let's see who we buy in January um, and let's see if we can continue that that push, which I believe we can. So um, 100%. People in the comments, do you think Newcastle will get Champions League football? And I, I want to praise Newcastle fans because when we start playing them start the season, I think... Where we went to St. Kimmins Park, they are a fantastic fan base. Um, all the doors should have showed like every Forest fan love as well. So big up to all Newcastle fans. And like I said, I always, and I'm, I know Pete's not going to like this one, say, I respect Newcastle fans, I respect Sunderland fans because I think they've got a good fan base. <laughs> I know, so I hate me. I know, but you have, you look, you've got, you've got a good, you and Sunderland have got a good fan base. I can't see it. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I know, I don't want to, if any Newcastle fans there, I don't want to. It's, I know Pete said Forrest and Derby are good man as well. So I just I thought I, I no, 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 no. You got you, you forget, Dawn. I'm based in Leicester. I'm just down the road from you guys. So like, I'm not going to be saying Derby. I'm not going to be saying Leicester because I don't like them uh, anyway. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I love the fact I was watching you guys last weekend pummeling in Leicester in the ground. Pete, listen, let, me, let me tell you something. Let me give, let me give you some education. There's Forest fans who don't generally care about Leicester. If there's any Leicester fans watching there, we just generally don't care. You know, right, Dylan? They care generally... about you, though. They care about I know, you. they care about us, but crazy. we don't care about them. Yeah, it's they crazy, live in their heads rent free. <laughs> we live in their heads rent free. <laughs> oh, so, right, so people, let, right, let's start. And you know the title of the show, as you're not Forest has signed Chris Ward. And this is why I brought Pete in to talk about Chris Ward. Uh, people in the comments, how are you feeling about the sign of Chris Ward? Before I get Pete, I'll get Dylan in this. Um, Dylan, it's been coming, Dylan. What, Chris Ward, how are you feeling about it? It's a strange one, isn't it, really, if you think about it. Do you know what I mean? No one thought about it until, what, I'd say a few days ago, until his name was being banded about. But obviously, someone at Forest or Cooper and whoever makes the decisions have seen something. Do you know what I mean? Someone's been talking, they've had a look. If rumours are true about a one year being at, do you know what I mean? Maybe he's going to be doing the same job as him. I've heard... I've I've, spoke, I've got a couple of Newcastle fans who are friends and that, and they said basically when he came in last year for Newcastle, he basically did a job, did the job for what they needed to do. He was a focal point. He was up there. He won't. He says to me, if you if if we're looking for goals, he's not the man. He's the guy to get the ball up to because he's big, and then let everyone else run and play off him. So yeah, so. It's an interesting one. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make any um, predictions about anything because I don't really know him. I don't really know what he does or do you know what I mean. So until we've seen it, because we've done it in the past where we've signed players and we've gone, oh, what we got them for, and then all of a sudden gone, they're amazing, or we've, or the other way around, oh, they'll be real brilliant, and then do you know what I mean. So it's interesting, and I trust Cooper and I trust the club whatever decisions they make. Mm. Pete, then touched on, like, you brought him last season and, like I said, he did the job for you. Like, when he came in, what what was your opinion? Because he come from Burnley, 25 million. So what was your opinion if, when he first joined you, you lot? Um, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Um, we were desperate in January. We had Wilson out long, long term because he had a calf injury. Um, we knew teams weren't going to sell to us in the Premier League. Uh, because we'd just had the takeover and they knew we had a little bit of money to spend. Um, and we were desperate. And when we signed him, I wasn't necessarily against it because we needed a big physical striker up there. But it was obviously, it was an expensive deal, 25 million. We had to buy him out of his, out of his um, release clause in order to get him. So it was a lot of money. Um, <clears throat> he, look, I, I'll sort of break it down for you. Look, he, he's, he's come in. And he's done a job. All the Newcastle fans have, have wished him well, gave him mad, mad respect because he came in when no other player, striker that we were looking at wanted to come in. We were looking at relegation, we were staring it in the face. But he came in, he rose to the challenge and 
um, he gave everything for the club. Now, you've already mentioned, um, Dinny, you mentioned that a couple of Newcastle fans mentioned, you know, he's not really a great goal scorer. But I, I would kind of argue that because he, although he didn't score many goals for us, he his credentials coming into the club before <laughs> that season, he was hitting double figures three, four years in a row for Burnley. So for me, like he 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 has the he has the capability of scoring of scoring goals in the Premier League. But he's already proven it. So that was always our argument on loading Mag in UFC. We were saying well, he's proven he can score goals. The one thing I will say though, and this is where I kind of uh, go on to how we may fare for you guys, is that the one thing that we didn't we did not play to his strengths. Mm. He 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 had to change. He came in, and he had to change his game for us. So we were high intensity, high press, non-stop running for 90 minutes. And he did that. And he ran himself into the ground every single game. It, it, like He will do that for you. He will work his absolute socks off, chase every single defender, put every, put his body on the line. Because he did it. And, and he was fantastic for that. But what we didn't do is in our moments in attack, provide the type of service that he needs, what he thrived on in, in Burnley. Like good crosses into the box, good set pieces, target man aiming for him into the right areas. We didn't do it, um, mm. and it was all the players around us, that, around him, that ended up getting the goals that eventually kept us in the league. Um, mm. So for me, I think, and I might be wrong, and it'd be, I, it'd be great to get your opinions on this because you obviously know your players better than me. But I think if, as long as you. And your striker don't get injured, is it? Um, Tyrell 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 Um yeah. You know, from what I've seen of, of, of Forrest is that you use him as the target man and he's the focal point of the team. I think if you use Wood in the same way, he will get you the goals. I think he'll mm. get you the goals that will keep you in the league. Um, mm. Because I think if you make him the focal point, just like Burnley did, he will get goals for you, no doubt. He mm. just didn't do that for us because that's not how Eddie Howe set it up. Uh, so I don't want to, you know, you'll get lots of Newcastle fans that may disrespect him because he didn't score many goals. Look, he missed some sitters at times. And we're not going to deny that. Um, but that maybe is down to certainly this season, a lack of playing time. But that's just my opinion on Chris Wood. I, I think he can do a really good job for you. Mm. People in the chat, what, what do you think, Pete? Could agree with Pete what he's saying? Like, say, I, I get what you mean, Pete. I think, and I'm, I'm just killing as well, I, I get what Pete means. Like I said, we use. I think as Scott, we you we thought we could use Tawani as target man, target target man, but as you know, Dylan, uh, I think from the game from was it Manu and onwards, he started playing as a left winger more yeah. than a target man. So what do you what, what do you do you repeat what you're saying? Well, do you know what I mean? Obviously, the one year when he first came into the club, we all thought he was going to be the target man, the number nine to get the goals. Obviously. He was adapting to the league. He was that uh, adapting to the players and everything. And he seemed to have found what I've seen of him uh, playing on the left, playing that way, seemed to suit for one year. So maybe Wood is going to be a different type of player. Is Cooper is Cooper going to be looking at sticking him right in the centre and telling everyone to aim for him? Or is he going to be? I don't know because I haven't seen much of him play. So. I just know his, what he's done in the past and stuff. But is he going to be like a Kieran Davis that we had last season? Is he going to hold the ball up? Is he going to let Johnson, Gibbs, White and all that come into play? Do you know what I mean? It'll be, it's, it's very interesting to see how this is going to work. But like you say, with his goal-scoring ability at um, Burnley, it, like you say, I've, I've, I've got the stats here up on... Up on him, he, he, he was scoring tens, tens, fourteens, twelves. Do you know what I mean? Four seasons on a trot. So, like you say, he's, he's got to be doing some some right. So, mm. do you know what I mean? He's mm. just. I think. I think they've gone for him in a way because he's a big player, isn't he? He's very tall, and um, and with the one you being that, obviously they want that kind of player. So, I'm I'm very interested to see. And like you say, not looking at his, his, his record for Newcastle, what I see is he's literally two and two, two last season, two this season so far. Do you know mm. what I mean? But I heard Eddie Howe's um, interview earlier about him and he says 
he, he, he was raving about it. He's done a great job for him when, like you say, when no one wanted to touch you last season. They knew, you, do you know what I mean? The 25 mil that you paid for him, I think Burnley's just basically pulled your pants down for that because they know you have, have the money. But you had to get someone in. And Eddie Howe said, basically, he's done the job. So mm. I'm quite looking forward to seeing how they play him. Mm. People, people comment like I said. It, it, how do you feel about this? This uh, Chris Ward. Do you think you know, he's a good talent? Do you think he's a bad Simon? Do you think he's a panic buy? They, Pete, Pete mentioned it. Like I said, they had to get him last season. Are we doing the same situation? I, I personally think it's a great signing because it, it, it will suit Brendan Johnson and Mark Gibbs White or whoever the other, other two hundred players strike um, forwards that we've got at the club. Um, and we're going through the comments as well. And this is from um, a, a member. This is Glenn. Even Dor, Dylan, Pete. We got that physical Premier League experience. We struck as we want. Agree with Pete. If Lodi and OES Copper providing the service, he's fitting right in. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I think we, we, we've noticed from Scarpa, uh, people like uh, when he gets the ball, he wants to look at, in that middle. And I think Chris Ward will suit it because he's got that aerial presence. It, um, yeah, he did at Burnley and Newcastle last season. End last season, so I personally think he would do it. Um, and this is from Nick, another member to the channel. Ward would be work well in the quality coaching Cooper, and no player gets worse, on, no player gets under worse than Cooper. And that's right. We said we said the same thing about Davis, we said it's about Sam Storage as well. These players won't fit, and look what happened to him. Fantastic last season. I know it was a championship, but Cooper knows how to get the best out of players. We know, Coop, we know, uh, what's his name? Again, Ward, sorry, Chris Ward is 31 years old, but Cooper knows what to do for these players. Um, this as yeah. well, from Nick as well, uh, from reading for what uh, Guardian says, we're looking, looking at him as, as an option. I'm actually, Pete, like I said, he, he, he was, I won't say he was, he, he brought him last season, and you yeah. mentioned he, he was a, a, a player that you needed, and now you've got. You can buy anyone you want. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, it's come to Forest. Do, do, do you think? I know he, he, he didn't play much games for you lot, but do you think he's a good buy from Nottingham Forest for a short term for the season to keep him up, keep us up? I think I, I do. <clears throat> I think I think he's a really good piece of business. Um, I think I, I put a tweet out earlier. Someone mentioned that um, I think it was a Newcastle fan said, "You know, what do you make of the what do you make of the deal?" Um, and I said, I, I genuinely think it's a good piece of business for both clubs. Look, Chris Wood did an interview last week. There was no, there was no, no notice of him leaving. He said he's mm. happy to stay, loving life at Newcastle, really enjoying his time at the club. Th this deal has come around very, very quickly, and I think it's. I, I don't think Eddie Howe would have released him. He almost said as much in his press conference today. Mm. Uh, I don't think that he would have let Chris Wood go unless Chris Wood wanted the move mm. or uh, or and um, the money was was good. Um, so, you know, we're looking at, I think, a deal worth around 15 million in that obligation to buy. I think it works out to 15 million. I think it's good business for Newcastle. We <laughs> need 15 million of, of the 25. So effectively, we, we've only really, what, paid 10 million for him overall in terms of that deal because we've got the money we've got back. But what mm. you're getting is a player that has got Premier League experience that, with all due respect, in that bottom half of the table, knows how to get the goals to keep his team in the league because his goals have effectively, in the last previous three or four years, kept Burnley in the league before last season. And ultimately... He played a role, although didn't get the goals, he played in a crucial role in keeping Newcastle in the league. So you've got the experience of somebody who's got the know-how and hasn't got the experience of getting relegated, certainly in the last six or seven years. So for me, I think it's, it's a great piece of business. And look, regardless of his age, 31, he's in great physical shape, very rarely injured, really looks after himself, big, strong, strapping lad. Um, he maybe doesn't put himself about as much as he should, Mm. I think Callum Wilson is a bigger, more physical presence up there whenever he plays in comparison to Wood. Wood's a lot bigger and physically stronger than him. But um, he maybe needs to do that a little bit more. But he is a presence. 
Um, and certainly <laughs> set pieces and various other things, he'll, he'll cause some problems. So for me, I, 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 if I was if I was a Forest fan, I'd, I'd be I'd be excited because I think he he can give you he can give you what your previous striker before his injury could can give you, and that was you know a physical threat, but also he'll get on the end of things and score goals. Mm -hmm. Can I just ask, go on, go on, then. go. On. Ask Peter a question, right? Um, obviously, Newcastle brought him in last season um, to help with the relegation fight. Yeah. And we all see what we'll see what happened. Yes, he didn't get the goal. He, he got a couple of goals, but he probably wasn't as prolific as you would expect him to be. So, if he didn't get with the goals, but we know he helped, what 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 was his other contributions to the team? And what could if he's not going to get the goals or get as, as many goals at the minute for Forest? What could we expect him to be doing? Because obviously you've seen our, our front players like Gibbs White, Johnson. What kind of kind of attributes can he bring to that for them? Okay, so um, yeah, when he, when Chris wasn't scoring goals, one of the one things that really stood out is that, and this was particularly with our tactic, is that he pressed very very high up the pitch. So the two centre backs, whoever he played against, never had time on the ball. They never had time to bring the ball out um, and he was always pressing back and forth, back and forth. He never let them stop and he would always put them under pressure to make them play quicker. Within that, what then happened is because our high, high press and our high intensity, we would then always win the ball back because they would either give the ball away out for a throw in either side or we'd put them under pressure where he'd have to play the ball quickly and we'd then nick the ball back in. Now, if you've got players that do the same with the likes of Gibbs White, Johnson, Lingot, when he plays, you've got an opportunity of winning the ball back half the pitch and being able to counter-attack off the fact that he works so hard off the ball. Um, you know, I was at I was at the Leicester game at Boxing Day um in, in the away end when we beat them 3-0. And you know, Hold we, on. We Hold on. <laughs> trust me, trust me. It was it was a fantastic day for me because um, uh, all my Leicester fans went, uh, all my mates from Leicester, they all went silent. I didn't hear from them for about a week. Like uh, like like at the thick ground, we didn't we didn't hear him. We didn't hear him. Yeah, yeah I, I've heard <laughs> the stories. Trust me. Uh, um, but look, he like he. He's got that ability of winning the ball high up the pitch. If you put that ball up to him, it will stick hold of it. Knockdowns into players, just keeping things ticking over to ensure that you keep the ball up high up the pitch as, as, as much as possible. That's what he'll give you. Um, don't get me wrong, like it wasn't always consistent. There would be a lot of games where you think you've got to hold on to the ball better than that. You've got to do that a little bit better. But actually, when you weigh up how often he did it, it was more often than not you know, over the spell that he was at the club. So that's what he'll give you. But I've got to be honest, and I'm going to keep reiterating it. You've got the players, and it was a, I think, um, I'm not sure who put it in the chat. Was it special? Was it somebody else? Put yes, it in the yeah. chat with or, Aurier, with Lodi, with, with those quality of players that can get Glenn, right Glenn, get Glenn, Glenn. the box. Yeah. They're, they're, you know, that's what he thrives on. That's what he wants. And I think... He's probably, as a style of play, and just from the little bits that I've watched you this season, he's better suited to you than he was to us. That's mm. my opinion. And I I wouldn't be surprised if he turns around and gets five, six goals for you between now I'll and take that. the season. I'll take that. Now, I'll that's, that. that's what I, I genuinely believe he can get five, six goals for you between now and the end of the season and keep you in the league. Because I, I think, personally, you're staying in the league. I think there are, there are three worse teams in the Premier League than you. Like, who would be the worst three teams then? Okay, um, look, I, I'm not a big fan of Everton. I, I just, I, I, I think you're better than Everton, but I just yeah. need them to get relegated. <laughs> I was, I was at um, Goodison last year when they got a fluky win against us, and it was, uh, oh, it, it still winds me up even now. And that was like back it, in the you know what it winds it because I think we, we went to their place um and we was winning one nil and they scored in the really 90th minute. Yeah. minute and that winds yeah, up I mean, as well. To they just have that knack, but yeah, uh, I think Southampton 
could well be going down. I know they're doing well. We've got them in the semi-final in the Carabao, but I think they could be going down. They're struggling. I think Everton are a team that could go down. And then, honestly, I think it could be anyone between Wolves, West Ham, Leeds. Um, you've got to throw Leicester in there. They're not doing well at the moment. So you look at there, there's four other teams that could potentially go down in that third spot. Mm. And I think out of all of that, if you were to put Forrest in that, I, I think the way you're playing and the way you're picking up points, you, you're you, you're you're not you're not the third worst team. So that's 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 my opinion. I, I don't think you're you're going down. In fact, there's a team I've missed, Bournemouth. Bournemouth could quite easily be in that third. Yeah, you guys have got them this weekend, is that right? We've got them tomorrow. We've got to. I'll be there tomorrow, and, then, yeah. and people don't forget ten o'clock. I'll be doing the preview show. With Craig at 10 p.m. So after the show, uh, don't don't be gone. Don't go on any other Forest channel. Stay on my channel, people, because I'll be there for 10 there's o'clock. One, there's only one chat Forest channel, mate. Oh, Dylan, stop, stop doing that. Stop doing that. People in the comments, like I said, if you've got any questions for Pete regarding Newcastle and Chris, well, please do. Um, I'm going to go through comments as well. Uh, and this is from Paul, another member to the channel. I think everyone else would, be, would have signed at this time. He could have what we want better, at least with Ward, exactly what we're getting with him as 100%. 100%. And like I said, Pete touched on it. Like I said, they needed that player at that time because the wasn't, wasn't doing well. And since Ward came, came, they were just flying the league up. So I'm happy, I'm happy with him. And after the poll, people, um, 27 have voted about are you happy with Chris Ward? And 93 says yes, and seven says no. People in the comments, did, did you what did you say, yes or no? I'd love to know who says no because I like him to be fair, if I'm honest. Um, Dylan, let's we talk about, like I said, Chris Ward, it comes to Forest. Other players, that's like um, Storage, Dennis, it's, they're going down, pecking order, Dylan. Are, 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 do, you, do you feel for the others or are you, are you really happy with the sound of Chris Ward? Well, like I said at the start, start of the show, I'm, I'm, I'm still a bit scared. I don't know much about him. It's like with when we signed Surridge. I didn't know much about him. Dennis, mm. I didn't know much about him, really. Do you know what I mean? So, obviously, listening to Pete, Pete know, Pete's seen him play last season, bit of this season, do you know what I mean? What he can do, what he can't do, do you know what I mean? What makes it, what makes it nice about Wood, what I'm starting to like it and listen to, is, yes, everyone talks about all these goals <laughs> at Burnley. Oh, he did this at Burnley, he did that at Burnley, that's why he went to Newcastle. But he didn't do that at Newcastle. He didn't get the goals, what was hoping for him. So it's nice to hear what Pete has to say. You say, but he didn't get the goals, but he did this X, Y, and Z. It was nice to listen to Eddie Howe in his interview earlier say <laughs> he's a top bloke. He was a top professional on and off the pitch. That's what we've got. Do you know what I mean? If you see Pete, if you ever get a chance to see the um the Instagrams of Jesse Lingard and Scarpa and the stuff behind the scenes of the club and stuff. And we've got such a good atmosphere at the minute. And it's, do you know what I mean, for that. So I think with the way he's, he, he's going to come in, I think he's going to do well. But just one thing I want to ask Pete, what I noticed with Eddie Howe's uh, interview today. Yeah. To me, he seemed a bit flabbergasted. <laughs> He was like, yeah, he's Dan Nottingham having a medical. But then as he was talking it's, uh, and talking about him, it, it was seemed like it was kind of pushed upon him to say, as as Chris Wood walked into the office to say, look, Gaffer, do you know what I mean? You're in a different direction. You're going to go for Champions League and stuff like that. I'm not, probably, I'm not going to be in them plans. Do you know what I mean? But to me, Eddie Howe was a bit deflated with the situation. If you say, I really like him. But I had to let him go. Yeah, you know what? What you've just said there, Dylan, nail on the head. He really likes Wood, but he had to let him go. And the reason being is because he had to let him go because ultimately the money was too good to turn down. But equally, I think if from from that from the second perspective is that Wood Wood wants to play football and he knows you know with Isaac coming back from injury Isaac been out for 5 months Isaac's going to play ahead of him and going to be playing a lot more football and um, providing he stays fit so you know he's obviously weighed things up and, and like i say it was a move that was done 
very, very quickly. And I think there'll be an element of Eddie Howe, and he was asked the question today in his presser, and, he, and, and Eddie Howe has already said, we have to replace him. We cannot go into the rest of the season with just Isaac and Wilson. Wilson, he gets injured. He's got an injury history. And if we have him out for a significant period of time and we've only got Isaac, that's not enough to be pushing for Champions League, in my opinion. And in Eddie Howe's opinion. So, therefore, Eddie Howe's probably thinking, and, and in that presser, knowing that he's down having a medical, he's thinking, we need to get someone, we need to get someone. And funnily enough, things have been cramping up tonight. Um, we've been linked with um, a young Brazilian, a young 18-year-old Brazilian who's looking like he could be the next big thing. Um, and uh, Anthony Gordon from Everton looking at taking him, um, potentially putting an inquiry in. We, 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 to be fair, we put a, we had a bid of just around thirty million rejected in the summer when we went in for him. I think Chelsea then came in and like offered fifty or sixty or whatever. But he's not had a great season. But that, that's that's the news that's coming out tonight. So we're clearly looking at getting an attacking player to come in. It won't be a like for like. If we get a replacement for Wood, it won't be a like for like big physical type striker like that. It will be a different type of striker, a different type of forward that can play in a number of positions. So um, that, that's, I think, what's going through Eddie Howe's mind. So I think he's thinking, because we're going into the game tomorrow with just Wilson and Isaac, and Wood normally comes off the bench but we haven't got that option tomorrow against Palace. Mm. So we, you know, he's thinking, well, we need someone in very, very quickly. So, you know, his mind's probably churning, thinking who we're going to get in, who we're going to bid for. So it, it's a great ob observation. That, um, and it was, it definitely was forced upon him for, for, for two or three reasons I've just said. Mm. Well, people up there, it's 103 people in. If you could do a massive favour for me, please do. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. I'm on the road to 11k, um, and plus, well, make sure everyone subscribes to Dave Pete channel as well. Load of Mac is in the title, so all you do is click on the title, subscribe to the channel, and that's all you'll do. It's, you. all, it's always your I've always liked to promote other people's channels as well. Um, before let's I'll we'll talk about this, Pete. Like I said, we know that um, he wasn't getting much game time, and I remember that miss was against um, Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, I mean, yeah. all, the, all the Lucas fans was was hammering him. Is it like is it lack of confidence, or is it just not got? It's not much game time. Yeah, I think it, I think it's maybe a bit of both, a bit of both. And I think the reason why we're so frustrated is because I mean, if it was against a Premier League team, we probably wouldn't have been that bothered. But it was against League One Sheffield Wednesday. You know, Newcastle fans have got an affiliation. I personally haven't, but Newcastle fans have got a massive affiliation with the FA Cup. Like, mm. if they were to choose a cup. It'd be the FA Cup. Like they, mm. they just absolutely love it. We've been to a couple of finals recently. Mm. We've won a few way back when, um, and that's why I think because it was the FA Cup and we were losing to Sheffield Wednesday, that's why there was such frustration. But it was a bit, look. It was a poor miss. It was a, there was a bobble. Don't get me wrong, but it was a poor miss. We we expect better from him. But um, yeah, I just think you know. It, these things happen. Some of the best players in the world have missed chances like that. It, it, it is what it is. Like, and it's actually probably doing us a favour because we. It means we've got less games to play, so we can focus on the league and the semi final. Mm. Um, Dylan, like I said, do, do you think uh, Chris will do well at Forest? I hope so. I hope so. I mean, it's, 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 it's always. You know I mean, it's always a gamble. It's like with the other lads we've got. You know what I mean, Scarpa, we've seen a bit of him. Uh, Delalio, um, he, him, he's going to be. It's a gamble. It's a gamble at the end of the day. But the thing is, with Chris Wood, he's got Premiership experience. Like Pete says, um, and people realise is he's done it. He did. He, he basically he, he did something for Newcastle, hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? Because you don't see a manager of Eddie Howe's calibre. He looked. He looked a bit heartbroken that he had to let him go. Do you know what I mean? So and then and he he's been down there with Burnley and he's got the goals. So I'm I'm just thinking like he said maybe our style of play and our players are obviously different to why Newcastle plays. So hopefully that's a different dynamic. We know what it's like. A player can go to one club and be near, go to another club and light it up because the different. Do you know what I mean? So I'm hoping yes. Do you know what I mean? It can only be a positive thing. Mm, so, so, 
people comment like I said, I, like I said, I put like a poll up um, before I get rid of it. Uh, Eighty-eight people said uh, they're happy with Ward and Cobb. Percent says no. Wow. So, but I'm I'm the eighty-eight percent. I'm, I'm happy that he is signed for Nottingham Forest because, like I said, he's a different type of player that we need. And uh, for example, like remember that I just didn't remember that that Sergio Aurier cross, and I think it was Sam Sturridge just missed it. If that was Chris Ward, Chris would have just banged that. And this is what I think I'm happy about the signing for Chris Ward at Nottingham Forest. Um, right before we do, we wrap up. Um, I'm gonna give you like a let me ask you, I'm gonna ask Pete this, right? Newcastle are doing fantastic. Do you think, right? I know it's a, it's a massive ask. Do you think Newcastle will get top two? So what was it actually, Pete? Top two, yes or no? <laughs> oh, top two, no. I think top two is just. I, I say top two is that or reach. It's actually not because we're not too far away from Man City. Actually, yeah, um, that's my point. That's my point. Yeah. So, so like, at this moment in time, we're not far away from top two. But do I realistically think we can get top two? No, I think that's probably just out of our uh, just out of reach. I think we'll be. If I'm honest with you, I think like look, Man City were, were were great last night. They was like they just, in the second half just blitzed. Tottenham, um, and I think they will go on a run that would ensure they will fight Arsenal for the title. And I think, I mean, look, <laughs> if we beat Par- if we beat Palace on Saturday, we got eight points clear of fifth place, which is Tottenham. So yeah. we 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 extend the gap between us and fifth place Tottenham. You know, you got Chelsea and Liverpool that got even less points than them. They're further down the league. So, you know, we've got an opportunity to really extend the gap. And I think. You know, providing that Liverpool don't pull a Liverpool, Chelsea, and Tottenham don't pull a miracle off, I think it'll be as a Man United, sorry, that will be fighting out for third and fourth. Um, you know, so th- th- that's my opinion. Do I think we can get third? Definitely. Yeah, I think we can get more points than Man United, but um, but again, I think top two is probably a, a push, uh, a push too far, maybe. Do you think Newcastle will get? Uh... Top two or top four? I don't no, I, I I believe it, what, I, I, what Pete says. Top two, I think, do you know what I mean? Just watching Man City last night, do you know what I mean? To go in two now and you're thinking Tottenham, do you know what I mean? Come on, what's doing here? Man City slipping up. And then it was like, I think Pep just basically said to them, you lot are getting dropped if you lot don't do anything. And they just went <laughs> bang. They just, they're, 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 a, they're a kind of team that you just don't want to bet against, even though they've had a couple of rubbish results. But, do you know what I mean? It just shows that they're only human. But, we're talking about Newcastle, and I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really pleased, and I'm really happy. Do you know what I mean? I really like Newcastle, because like you say, they've been through the dark, do you know what I mean? Um, with, yes, you had, you had um, Mike Ashley as an owner. Like I said to a, couple of my Newcastle mates. I said, yeah, all right, fair enough. He didn't invest in that, but he treated your club like a business. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And he, he did. Right. He did. He, 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 he ran it like a business. Yes, you got relegated once or twice under him, but he was fine. Top two, no way for me. Top four, yes. You know what I mean? And I'll be very, very happy and... And it'll prove a point that anything can happen within year, within a year. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? To get champion, if you can get Champions League football, that'd be compared to last year. Because I look at Newcastle last year to this year, and I'm looking at Forest. Not, uh, do you know what I mean? I don't, I know where you're going with it, Dylan. Like, no, listen, I know where you're going with it. Listen to what I'm going to say is. For Newcastle to be where they were last season, by Christmas, they were relegated. They were basically everyone relegated them to survive. And what I see with... And they made a couple of good investments. Wood in January. Was it Bruno? A a Brazilian. Do you know what I mean? So I'm kind of looking on... I'm looking on this point. No, that's it. We've we've got more points. I'm 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 led to believe... That oh Newcastle had less points than us last season than, than now. That's what I'm led to believe. I can't. Yeah, I don't we didn't, we didn't win. We didn't win for like 13, 14 games last season. Yeah, we got our first so, win after like 14 games. Yeah, but can you see? Can you see where I'm going with it? I we can see Dylan where we this is coming we, from. We, 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 we signed Wood in January. 
we haven't got one Brazilian. We've sure. signed two. It was like but, two. Te <laughs> but technically, we've got three. Yeah, I, mean. I can see uh, where you come with Dylan. People in the comments, do you agree with Dylan? What I can see the pattern. I can see the pattern that Dylan's saying. I don't know. People like people like, what the hell are you talking about? I can see the pattern what Dylan's saying. People in the comments, do you agree what Dylan says? That's a different that's a different show we can do, talk about. Uh, yeah, that is a different show. You know what? <laughs> Boys, what I will say is is that some of the caliber of players that you sign is is is, is Top top stuff, for an, like for a newly promoted side to go out and put your money where your mouth is and go. You know what? We want these players in. You know the likes of Lodi. We were linked with Lodi, but before we signed Matty Target, it was odds on that we were going to get Renan Lodi from Atletico Madrid. Like we were odds on. Dean Henderson, fantastic goalkeeper, done brilliant for you this season. We were we were odds on to get him before we ended up getting Nick Pope. So like. You look at where we're at right now, but we were looking in the same ballpark of players that you were, that you've ended up picking up. So you've brought in some really, really good players. Um, mm. And I see you guys is, you know, the way I've seen our trajectory over the last year from relegation to now you know, fighting out for the top four, you know, you guys were in the championship last season. Bottom. And now, and now you're like in the you're in the Premier League, and not just in the Premier League, just making up a number in in the in the bottom three. You're actually competitive, beating the likes of Liverpool and and oh, oh, Leicester and and other teams, and putting teams to the sword and putting in great performances. Like that trajectory from you guys in the last year is put some spanking as well. Yeah, but but that but that's the Premier League. That that's to be expected in the in the Premier League. That's what it's yeah. all about. Look, look, it, it happens. But what what you've done is you've pulled up some trees as well. You've pulled up some trees and you've you've made people sit up and take notice of Nottingham Forest. And you know we've missed that. You know I, I've I for one and the, our loaded boys. You got like Mark, um, Chris, Daz, and Richie. Like we were all buzzing when Forest came up into the Premier League because yeah. it was great to have a different team, a different perspective, a different a different club representing the Premier League. It's great. I mean, for me personally, it's amazing. I always love coming to the City Ground. Um, um, last time I was there. You guys knocked us out the cup. It's, it's, it's always been fun. It's always when you look, come to the sit, guys. It's yeah. always fun. And, and it's then always the championship fun. where we had the two players sent off. <laughs> and all that madness. I'm not going to get into that. But was, was, that that where, was, was that the one where um, did, um, we Dollar, won one nil? Dollar saved two penalties. Dollar saved two penalties. Yeah. Um, oh, so we've always had we've always had good games, and you know what. Um, I'm I'm fighting. I'm fighting to try and get tickets for for our game uh, later on this season to come to yeah. the city back. It's only down the road from me, just a short tr train journey away. So I'll be coming down there. So hopefully, hopefully, I get a ticket and I can come and meet up with you boys before the game. Right? And this is and this is kind of question. I said um, I'd like to ask a question. P thoughts again, City Ground Newcastle. I'm definitely gonna have, when we do when Newcastle do. This is the funny thing because we could play in a final. I don't know if you know that, Pete. We could, we could still play yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool final. So that... Semi-finals against Southampton, man. Of course. We could that play is... the final. But people, and people are asking what I'm drinking. <laughs> hey. we got we got to go to... we got to beat Man United twice or, or something like that. we got to go all any, anything's possible. Look, look. I, I don't know how it works for you guys. Are you at home first or home second? We're at home. We're at home. Then, then there's out there. Well, don't forget, we've got we've got Chris Wood and three Brazilians. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask you, though, because it, can Chris Wood play for you in the semis? Yeah, he played, for us in, he played for us in the early rounds. No, no. he can't. No, cup tied. Cup tied. Okay, can't play. Can't play. That's what I was um, say, can, but you can play tomorrow. You yeah. can't play tomorrow, though. You can't play tomorrow. That I think that's a bonus for his Boris fans. It, um, we've got a massive game tomorrow. And as you know, people, at 10 o'clock, I'll be doing the Bournemouth preview with Craig. So please watch out for that. Um, Pete, it's been a, you've been a legend. Thank you very yeah. much. You know what, boys? I've really, really enjoyed it. You boys are absolutely sound. Great. Be, you're welcome back on. When, 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 we do, when I do the Newcastle preview, people, Pete is coming on. People are coming. Yeah. Please. And you're coming come on tomorrow away, day. So we're. We'll, 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 we'll trade and we'll, and we'll, we'll do it trade. after one morning. People in the comments, please show some love to Pete. And as well, if you can, do before you do before you leave the show, go and subscribe to Pete. His link is in the description of the title. Show some love. And like I said, Pete, it's been an absolutely, you've been a legend to my channel. And oh, no. hopefully Chris Ward can do a, a big, thing for, big thing for Forrest. Hope. 
I'll be <laughs> back so, tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. We hope. We all hope. We all hope. If right, scores the winner to... tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? It'd be worth every penny. Dylan's still, 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 been on the Hennessy. <laughs> hey, Jaden. Jaden. I'm on the brandy myself. I'm on the brandy right now. So yeah, we're, 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 I'm on. Uh, for me, my lady fans know I love. I love a bit of Ian James. Yo, I love that. You know what? I get the Hennessy out. I get the Hennessy out when we sign players. So I've got it stopped, stopped ready. Hopefully, we get a, a sign in through the door very, very shortly. Yeah. Uh, right before we go, people say some love to Pete. I got Justin saying thanks, Pete. Uh, this is from Spurs. Pete equals a legend. Like I said, Pete would be definitely back on when we do play Newcastle back at the seat ground or even in a Carol Bay Cup final. You never know. We hope it happens, people. Yeah. Right. People, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. For, thank you, Pete. Thank you, Dylan, for again, for coming on the channel. Get back on the buses, thank you. please, because you've had enough of you already. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, right, people, like I said, I'll be back at 10 o'clock um, as well to talk about the previous show with Craig, former fan. Uh, so if you can, a quick hour to get some food, whatever you're going to do. Don't forget, because it's going to be another good show as well. Um, but yeah, people, thank you for for uh, watching the show. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you, Pete. And as well, people, we're thank back at boys. 10 o'clock. Peace and love up the forest.